hey beautiful people welcome back to another video thank you for tuning in so we are in rwanda and we are going to visit kigari genocide memorial a very sad thing that happened in this country in 1994 and uh, this is the i think it's the main memorial but in other cities uh the other cities in rwanda there is every city there is a memorial site and this is the main one with uh, the highest number of people and there is a mass grave in this area so i'll give you a brief history of what happened about the genocide But let me take you inside this uh, genocide memorial and there is a museum where there, uh, you can see uh, a lot you can know about the history in details what happened but uh, they don't allow to f they don't allow us to film that part but you can see the mass grave from outside where people come to give respect to their loved one and also their names of all those people who died. The Rwandan genocide, also known as Genocide Against Tutsi, occurred between 7th April and 15th July 1994 during the Rwandan Civil War. So it lasted for a period of 100 days. During this period, members of Tutsi minority ethnic group as well as some moderate Hutu and Batwa were killed by armed militia. The genocide was the culmination of decayed division and the incitement of hatred toward the Tutsi by extremists in the country readership. During the hundred days nearly one million ethnic Tutsi and moderate Hutu were killed as the international community and the United Nations peacekeepers stood by. During this period, six people were killed every minute and dead bodies were piled up on the roadside as people were encouraged to kill their neighbors. Women were raped and even the lives of uh, little children were not spared at all. But the ethnic divide and this hatred that fueled in the genocide did not come from nowhere. It has its roots in Rwandan colonial history. Rwanda is a small country who, which, was, which was colonized by Germany and Belgium and then it got its independence in 1962. In 1994, the population was estimated at 7 million, 85% being Hutu, 14% being Tutsi, and 1% Batwa. But they have a lot of things in common as they were united together. They speak the same language, they have the same traditions, and even they live together all that time. When Belgium colonized Rwanda, the Belgians favored Tutsi and considered them to be closer to European and superiors to Hutus. They were guaranteed better jobs and even education opportunities. This discrimination gradually led to resentment among the, the Hutu. After independent, Juvenal Habia Rimana became the president of Rwanda he was a Hutu, but later he was assassinated before the genocide. And that sadly, that's how the genocide started. This 
these are the names of the people who have been buried in this uh, genocide memorial. So people come here to see the names and to see, uh, to visit, uh, to have memories of their people who died. Also, this is the period of 28 years after the genocide. So you can see this name Kwiboka 28. And that's why there's this uh, right that this is and that's why there's this light that will remain there for a hundred days so i visited at a time where the memory is going on so after 100 days the light will be off and again another celebration will be after 29 so thank you for watching i pray for rwanda may the souls of all those people who rested in this memorial site blessed in eternal peace thank you for watching see you to the next